and he seems like he's been very worthy ban in most cases. So, um, but obviously passed up here, and Team Excellent will gladly take that. That hero, I, I still continue to say it, the, the burst potential that he has, even even with no farm, is it, just ridiculous when it comes to levels. That's all he needs. It doesn't even need many levels. I mean, the earlier on head smash or face smash or whatever it's called, uh, slam my face into you. Ability, the head smash ability. I mean, that's a lot of damage that's, that's coming out yeah. early Definitely. on. So it's just a lot of AOE for a hero. And you know, the best part about the hero is that his ultimate goes through shrunken head, so you can't stop him from galting. I mean, the, you can't stop him from doing damage on a carry. If he gets an initiation, it's going to do a lot. Of damage. The ultimate on top of that, with that charge effect, you know, allows your team to set up yeah perfectly. So that's what you know makes a hero so strong. And he's banned a lot, and I know TMSR really dislikes uh, being up against that hero. So. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it's going to be picked against them over here, but I already picked two jugglers. And Thane picks his last game, actually. Uh, keep it on the field, they're going to be picked right now. Okay, and a yeah. counter by Pestilence, actually. So, TMS are going to get hit with their own Pestilence. Well, they have a chance to get Master of Arms now here. You know, we talk about all, we used to talk about all the time, and I don't, I don't think it's really any different nowadays still. I mean, the, the global presence that those two heroes bring. Slicks uh, plays Master of Arms frequently. I mean, or, or even they could run of the support role, too, so... That's definitely here I mind. But yeah, the Pestilence picked over here by Team Excellent. If anything, again, TMSR is maybe usually the team that we see it on. But um, we saw that against Justice League earlier. I don't know if you caught that match, but I think it was the game one of that series where Justice League actually picked up Pestilence against them. Yeah. And uh, didn't work out the best for them in the end, but he is a hero that yeah. is coming Still back. a really nice hero. I mean, you got to get him that early farm, but he'll do well. By the way, I, I don't, I mean, we haven't really seen Rally in a while, but he's being passed up this game completely. Yeah. Um, hasn't even been picked. I love the hero, though. I mean, I, I honestly feel like you could even run him as a uh, semi-support, like yeah, like a behemoth or something, because of the fact that he can just get your, uh, he can you know save a teammate uh, with his compel. But uh, that you know, obviously with a pestilence, it's not going to work out very well. They could run him as a solo, though. Um, but you already have a lodestone, so I don't, I don't think Legion will pick him up. Maybe Hellborn, but again, you know, he might get banned even yeah. before he is able to be picked up. Bubbles is picking to come up from Hellborn, so you know, gonna be maybe a short lane Bubbles. Gonna go for that uh, Slicks carry maybe on that Bubbles. And <laughs> once again, uh, Team is not showing their dual lane. Or actually, no, last game it was Team Excellent not showing the dual lane. Um, this time, Team is gonna be kind of hiding their picks a bit more. Um, yeah. You know, Bass is gonna be thinking about it, seeing maybe if he should ban the Deadwood, if you know, Rally or Fade, all really strong heroes in that dual mid. Yeah, so Bassett's, uh, we'll see what he values here. There's the Monkey King. <laughs> or Again, Monkey King. Still long. worried about it, yeah. I like the Dampier quick response, too, so. <laughs> Obviously, that's kind of weird. Uh, if I Dampier because they have passed along, so I don't know. Dampier passed, it would be yeah. strange, but it, it can work, but it's just, you know, it's not. What would, okay, so. Dark Lady, even. I don't know. Moon's banning a lot of carries. Yeah. Does not want them in the hands of um, Team Excellent, and. Team Excellent is known to pick up at least two to three carries per game, so <laughs> that could be, uh, you know, one of the reasons, obviously, why they don't want to give them another carry, but I well, mean, there's plenty on the board. I mean, that kind of goes to, I know that in general, and even throughout his history, that Pestilence we have seen, he seems like he is built more as that just more of, I'm an initiator for your team, ganking presence. Can he be played as a hard carry, you think? Can he be played as a carry hero? Uh, he can, but it has to. The game has to go very, very late um, yeah. for that to be, you know, taken into effect. Or he has to get just like complete pick offs and free farm and never die, which you know happens every once in a while. And then he'll become very annoying. Like if, if you could pretty much get a portal camp pe uh, pestilence and then just get a lot of ganks, which are all successful, he's gonna build up fast. I mean, he'll do a lot of damage over time. But you generally build that hero around, you know, somebody who can kind of. He's built like a war beast, except. As an initiator, I mean, he'll get a stun, but he'll just chase people the whole fight mm -hmm. and get pickoffs one by one. Um, and you know that ultimate of his, with you know, that can pretty much scales to negative 18 armor at level three, is just crazy to go up against as well. Um, deals a lot of damage. You know, he doesn't even need a damage item to do that much. How about that final band there, Master of Arms, but coming up from my Moon Meander. Now, you know, I was just talking about uh, before these second set of bands, the Master of Arms could have been a good hero, especially for them. Having that Ophelia synergy, but at the same time, a great hero in general. I guess just starting to Team X will make it, and then you think about the minus armor effect with Pestilence already. Something like a Master of Arms Pestilence could be pretty devastating from that point of view. So uh, they uh, they just go ahead and ban it instead. 
I don't think uh, Master of Arms will really help that much, Timasar. I think it's going to get um, demolished by Pestilence in this game. Okay. Um, but it, it could it could be very uh, useful for Team Excellent because you know Master of Arms is one of the tiers that works early, mid, and late game. Um, so he just wants to get that out of the way and you know make sure they don't get that. Um, but you know Pew or Bass is going to be thinking a bit on this last pick over here. Might even go for the support. Not maybe sure, or actually, yeah, not sure what he wants to pick up next. Obviously, not going to be picking up a jungler, so we're going to be seeing most likely a two-two-one coming out from, or a one-two-two coming out from Team Excellent. Torture going to be picked out, so um, that's still a bit of a, an obscure pick. You don't really know if it's going to be a support or semi, you know, carry, not carry, but torture carry, or not support. But um, I like that about that hero. Him, Pyromancer, and MOA all have that kind of ability to hide what they're going to be going, but. Torture, still a great hero, has a lot of push potential, uh, which, you know, is something they don't have. And uh, we'll see what uh, TMSR responds with. The Demented Demented Chomper. Chomper. Okay. So, he, I mean, uh... I, that's a Luna, okay. Oh, they randomed it, yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, we, okay. Lol. <laughs> okay. Lol, lol. That's just rude. That is rude. But, you, know, you can always use the hero, the hero so search. Well. That's true. I mean, that's all you gotta... You just type in demented next time. There you go. Or a Luna. <laughs> Legion can also do that, I think. <laughs> well, te technically, yes. I mean, I, mean, it, I don't think they will. I don't think they will. I will, mean, but Pew is known as a as a troll. So. Mage it's fun to Ooh, okay. Mage Bane and Silhouette. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't really like Mage Bane here, but actually, it could work. But it's just heroes that need a lot of farm up against Pestilence. I feel like they're just gonna get destroyed in the game, because um, I feel like Pestilence can just you know get an ulti off, chase them around, and Mage Bane will die. But then again, I mean they do have a lot of lockdown on Hellborn. They have the Bubbles and Keeper ultimate, so Let's it might work. On. They're gonna play this correctly though. Yeah. But we're going into a remake, Breaky. Are we though? Or maybe not. Let's oh, see if Pew votes that. I uh, we could have some drama here. Let's uh, let's wait and see. Here's the oh. vote. Oh, uh, Legion voted it too. Yeah, let's go. All yeah. right. So the players are nice to each other. Um. Hi, while we're uh, in between, I want to I want to actually shout out. I, I used to don't shout out like avatars like this by any means, but uh, this. <laughs> Uh, this new avatar, the uh, TD Monkey King, obviously that's as a result of uh, Trademark Esports, of their DreamHack victory of the last DreamHack Winter event, and actually finally got put into the game. They got to choose a alternate hero and, you know, kind of the make of the hero and whatnot, or the alt, I should say, the skin. And so there you go. That is the new alt right there. Maybe that's why they banned Monkey King. Cool. See you again true, soon! Actually. Could be, you know, just kind of scared that... They get the power, but anyway, I'm game gonna be starting soon. But I mean, what about a uh, silhouette? I mean, I have not seen that hero in a long time, and every yeah. person I seem to talk about, because I always try to like pick that hero on TMM with friends, but they always tell me it's just really bad, and like nobody will let me pick the hero because they think it's trash. Um, <laughs> and you know, to an extent, I agree. But the only thing that silhouette I feel like differs from other heroes is that he has the ability to kind of push with his illusion later game, yeah, um, and kind of be a bit more aggressive. But he's going to be working with a pestilence this game, so I haven't seen that before. I I, th I think trash is a little bit of an overstatement for a hero like Silhouette. I mean, yeah, I uh, there are some heroes that are just yeah, that they don't belong really. But I don't think Silhouette by enemies is one of those. I mean, she definitely has a great presence, and kind of like you were saying there. I mean, she does have a lot of positives. She her aggressive play both early on into that late game carry status. Um, the, her laning presence is also very powerful. I. I don't know. I mean, she has great split put. It's I don't I don't know. I mean, is there is there an obvious reason that you have that why we don't see? It? Is it just simply because there's other options that are better? I feel yeah, other options are just better. Um, getting free from a silhouette is you know you have to you have to build like a null stone. I don't. Know. I feel like you have, to, you have a lot of build up items on the hero before she gets big, and you have to invest a lot of farm on the hero as well. Um, and I just don't think he can carry as much as other heroes can at the moment. Um, like, like, for example, you know, like, like even Dampier. I, I just feel like other. It's just gotten to the point where people have discovered a bunch of carries, and they're just 
Mm -hmm. um, they just have a you know, better presence and silhouette in the whole game. On top of that, she's really easily uh, ganked. And, um, you know, she's very squishy as well. Kind of similar to a Moon Queen, kind of. Um, but. Wait, what? You know, besides. besides the... Okay. <sighs> Remake number two. Thunderbringer! <laughs> uh, okay, lockpick is one thing to mess up in, but really? <laughs> Captain's pick? Come on. Well, I'm not gonna be coming out here. I, I want these to stay. I want these to stay. Tempest. I'm not mad if you guys play this. Rampage. Play it out. <laughs> no mad here. This kind of feels like the. You know, we we've been doing these recent Honcast histories, and as I've just been, I always do it every now and then, kind of look back at just very old Honcast matches, just for nostalgia factor. And lineups like this is what we would see, man. I mean, there just, there were some weird ass lineups back then that just didn't make any sense. But it's just funny how much the game has evolved nowadays but yeah, definitely people are finally just trying out all this stuff so. yeah it's more fun making the game oh the mass tp mid <laughs> the Congo Congo. level one congor are they not gonna remit that would be hilarious it's like nope screw it, we're playing i wish they just took congor and under mid that would have been that would have been kind of a waste of time really, but... <laughs> probably yeah would have been funny but... Remake number three, we'll see if Bastards right. can get it correct this time. How many more things can we talk about before we actually start this game now? <laughs> we got done with Silhouette. I mean, Mage Bane hasn't been picked in a while either, but... Yeah, yes and no. I mean, uh, TMSR, if anything, they are a team that's actually been yeah. a couple times lately. And Moon, especially. Mage Bane, Wild, and Strat. By uh, TMSR. What was that, me? What's going on? My game is bugging out. Okay, there you go. Okay, for me it says loading game. Other match. Okay, yeah. wow, what the heck? Okay. There we go. Right, um... Okay, there we go. Yeah, okay, I thought I bugged that as well. Alright, yep, we're back. There we go. Game number five here, guys. Game number five. Oh, that's <laughs> true. Engineer. Again, the winner moves on to tomorrow. Yep, gonna be up against Team Silhouette. USA, I assume. Um... Keeper of the Forest. Uh, yes. Uh, so speaking of that, by the way, I actually did get a. Uh, I was. Uh, I got an update. Um, so obviously, Team USA they did end up having a forfeit. There's. They made a statement of course about it, but uh, they are going to be playing the losers bracket match tomorrow. So that's uh, should be good to go. Game, so. Unfortunate, but hey, at least at least we still had a match to cover, so that kind of made up for it. Kind of. <laughs> But stay green. They're waiting patiently in the grand finals. With that said, yeah, they did really well this cycle. I don't know if they did it's a game. I don't even know. No, they did not. They, did not they uh, let's get they did not lose a game. Yeah, they uh, went undefeated. So, kind of like the old tradition coming back for the team so far, at least. In yeah. answer, we'll see if they can keep it. Yeah, I. I I don't know. I mean, I, I don't. I want to. I, I, as a spectator, as someone that you know, we we went through that last season. I've talked about that in pocket. Like we had two very dominating teams, the Stegman, especially in the later part. They were the dominating team. You know, it, it's it that does have its benefits, and it's nice to see. But at the same time, I, I hope for this season, at least earlier on, you know, more diversity. But hey, yeah, you know, all the credit to going Stegman. up against those teams are even like worse. I remember like when MSI back in the day. Yeah. Like, when nobody can beat them, it was just annoying because it's like, okay, well, you know, we're going to lose this game because there's not a, no, no way to win. But, <laughs> I mean, yeah, definitely not to that point yet where they're undefeated, but we'll see how it goes, you know. Yeah. Andre just started, so we'll see who commits the most and how the game goes. Five man, actually, from both teams over here top. Forest going to be coming out, but Team so will be backing out of there. We'll see. I mean, um, Okay, so that camp's going to be blocked by Pew, uh, the left hard camp. They're going to try to maybe shut down a lot of the jungle over here for Ophelia. She can rotate jungles, but then again, I mean, like we talked about in game one, about why there's not that many junglers. This is the main reason why, and uh, Sham smartly has not bought any counter wards or any items yet, so he can buy some counter wards now, or he could buy boots and go into the enemy jungle. Both will work for him. As you see, he's maybe even running down now, so... Yep. yep. So I'm gonna go to the and side shot. 
Okay, so keeper mid, or keeper top, slicks mid on bubbles. So they're, they're long lane mage bin. Huh. Okay, huh. so I mean, I guess they expected the tri lane top, which, okay. Is happening. <laughs> yeah, and those stone mid and silhouette bottom, but they can still tri lane bottom. I mean, they can just switch to supports bottom and have silhouette farm. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, Pesty could do fine against Keeper of the Forest one on one. So, you know, we'll see how long they keep this lane top, though, because definitely could be just switched up. Yeah. So, I mean, right away, you got Engineer moving, moving to the middle lane, of course. Um, silhouette, again, she has a strong laning presence, but obviously in a 1v2 matchup here, especially with the Ophelia threat on top of that. We'll need to be pretty careful. Now, it's also a matter of getting that lane position here if you're the Hellborn team. And the hard deny going, you see right there. Yep. But, uh, not able to do so just yet. So, Silhouette Nox is going to soak up as much farm as possible in the meantime. Ophelia did end up going to the side chip and getting boots, as you talked about, so. Being in the aggressive. Maybe running into Engineer, even. Oh! Ooh. Just misses the Minotaur stun. A little bit too quick. Aluna's running over, so. Two on two. Yeah, three on two, really. Minotaur's here, man. <laughs> That is definitely true. That's a lot of damage. But they, they can't get bottom now. They're being blocked off. Yeah. Gonna try to go together, but yeah, I mean, definitely. Minotaur plus the Luna is gonna be very annoying to go up against. They're gonna be moving up now, and, uh, you know, Silhouette at least one on one against Mage Bane while this is happening, so she's getting a bit of farm. Yeah. And the like lane's forced. pushed up. I mean, yeah, she's doing pretty Ooh. good. Engineer, gonna take another stun here. Ooh, they're gonna kill the Minotaur. No, the Minotaur! Bloodlust. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of significant. Not really. It's not like that big of a deal, but... Well, I mean, it is a bit of gold as well, and experience for the... You know, it, it's going to be a trial lane, and these guys are unexpected to get that much experience, so uh, every little bit counts. Definitely. Yeah. You know, now they're going to be rotating into the jungle. You see Ophelia is you know, still here, actually. Oh, actually, has a new Minotaur. Round two over here. But, um, we'll see Come on. Go for a gank on Silhouette. Nope, not gonna happen. You see Torture and Engineer. They finally made the long trek over here. It was, a, it was a, quite the effort. They ran into a lot many of, obstacles. Uh, a lot of trials, a lot of obstacles. But hey, they made it. They grinded it out. Years later, they okay. make it down. I mean, the bright side of this is that Ophelia is still level 1, and that's, you know, gonna be a pain uh, for her to level because she can't really switch jungles. She won't get much farmer there. Yeah. So there's only one Minotaur she can take over in that jungle. As of right now, and you know, she's trying to keep her ground, but it's not the easiest of times for her. Now, well, with this adjustment, if if you if you, if your if your team SR here, so middle lane, middle lane, oh my god, Lowest might actually fall right here. Slix is chasing Song of the Sea, new coming out right there, a couple of auto attacks, all oh, the bottle charges from Lowestone, and Bassets is going to be fine, no shell surf to be had, so great getaway in the end. So no blood let's go just yet, but okay, so but if your team excellent here, could you? Could you First say, God, are you serious? I missed the blow. Let's kill. <laughs> Freaking Lowestone going down. Anyways, oh, uh, Torture being chased torture. back. Maybe it's going to be a uh, two kill right here. Torture, Shams already getting one kill. He wants a second one. Nope, health is going to be used. Pew fine for now, or is he? He's still chasing. Torture doesn't have the boots. A couple more auto attacks. Well, he needs one more after this. Oh, oh, just not enough. Oh. One more. Oh, pill. No. <laughs> He can't get close enough. So close. He's gonna have to fall back. Anywho, no. and, okay, I was gonna say, and he actually picks up a homecoming stone, so it completely defeats what I was gonna ask. So he's oh, gonna point to the top lane. Yeah. There you go. He, he was, you know, he wasn't doing that well bottom. I mean, he got boots, but Silhouette definitely had the better time down there. So you know, in essence, whatever happened bottom, even though they they lost the kill on mid, still worked. Yeah. Speaking of mid, actually, Aluna gonna rotate over here and do some damage onto Glowstone, but he'll be fine. Yeah, Ooh. Health push no by uh, So And Shamus is forced out of the jungle now. Mm. So um back to the way lanes are gonna or should have been or <laughs> normally would have been. Yeah. This game because you might buy a TP bottom, but actually goes for a punch dagger, so not gonna have boots even to work with if he TP's bottom. It's gonna be rotated into the jungle right now. Silhouette's farm, obviously. Uh, she's even pushing up the tower. I mean, Keeper of the Force is still... He's kind of just transitioning into more of a jungler keeper here. And I kind of wonder if he's just going to turn into that. Yeah, we do have an issue. Still on a bubble. Shell Surf! Not going to happen. He tried a quick Shell Surf right there. 
to maybe try to make a getaway, but both Lobestone and Engineer collapse to pick up the kill, so well played. And oh, top lane, Mage Man goes down. Okay. Oh. Wow. Working my camera work here. I, I love up. watching Shams even in this game. He's, he he just went around once the outpost, but um, or once the observatory, but health potion, mana potion, and rotated back into the jungle. He's just oh, like yeah. bringing around the rose over here for him, and uh, he's doing what he can. But that's you know that's that's what you're giving up right now. You're you're giving up a lot of farm onto a hero like Ophelia because his jungle is warded and. You know, there's nothing he can do, and in the meantime, top is getting pressured very heavily, and even gank came up at mid. That's why, you know, that's why the two support combination is so strong. They can just win oh, anything. No. Oh no! Oh! Happy to catch that one, and that was a case of their collapsing, obviously, for a kill. Meanwhile, to the top lane now, we do see initiation of Luna being gone on the impale stun on top of the other side. It's like Gore proc going off right there. Not going to matter in the end, but we, we had a blinking away. But yeah, nice kill initially under Luna. But yeah, the bottom lane, Silhouette being collapsed on. Happened to turn the kill, though, first onto Bubbles uh, right before she was picked off. So at least to getting the best right there. And even got the experience for it. So not too shabby, especially with what happened at the top lane overall. Team excellent. Pretty good start. So even with this adjustment, I mean, Mage Bane by no means is getting a free farm. Uh, definitely not. I mean, he's going to be having a hard time over here. Pestilence isn't doing amazing either, I mean, but he is at 300 gold per minute, so I'm um, going to be going for that. Probably with those steam boots very soon, just needs another 200 gold for those if you choose to get them. But, um, you know, it, things are looking grim for TMSR, but they do have Keeper of the Force and Ophelia, and we'll notice, you know, in the next five, six minutes if that's that's going to be a difference maker, because I feel like it is. Yeah. Um, and I feel like if Kazu, Shams, Fitzke and Slicks can kind of move as a, as a group and a unit and distract uh, Team Excellent and give Mage Bane some space, then you know they can definitely just turn this game around and get the momentum back in their favor. We'll see. Let's see if that can happen here for the Hellborn team for too much sugar. You got uh, Keeper of the Force going back and forth with Silhouette here at the bottom lane. Silhouette, though, of course, uh, with those ranged auto attacks, putting the pressure on. Interestville, though, pretty good ability to have against a hero like Silhouette. As far as the region and the armor. Lodestone! Oh no, Bubbles. Nope, he's not gonna go for it, never mind. Just kinda going around. Oh, yes, he is! Shatterstorm be activated, he does get the stun off! Yes, is it gonna explode? Oh. Yes, it is! And down goes Bubbles. I was wondering if he's gonna take cover right there, but guess what? He doesn't have take cover. So, can't do that. I, I mean, even if he would, he would have either had to take an energy stun or take a Lodestone ultimate. He pretty much yeah. had to decide. Um, even if he had the keg, so. But nice play by um, Finally welcoming in and patience by Bassus. I mean, uh, waiting just for the last second before his teammate was in um, position. But yeah, I mean, Team Excellent are honestly winning all three lanes right now. And that's definitely going to help them scale well into mid game. And they need to keep up with aggression though if they want to keep, you know, this game rolling. And on top of winning three lanes, it's just, you know, you have silhouette free farming, which is exactly what um, TMSR didn't want to have this game. Yeah, and what I feel is a little bit weakness is just her landing presence. If she's against more than one person, she just can't do too much. Um, but you know the the lineup by uh, Team Excellent definitely is favored around the early game because they do not have a jungler, so able to move around a lot. And you know, back to top now is Torture and you know Engineer still sitting mid. Might want to go for another pick off, but you don't have Ophelia this time. Just sitting behind him. Top lane. See, uh, not going to be going for a jump though. But yeah, you mentioned Ophelia is here in case Bubbles gets jumped. Not really though anymore. She's actually uh, back into the jungle, headed towards the top lane even. Me trying to make something happen up there, but fast sets on Lowstone. In the meantime, just having the good old time, free farming really. And his farm to 90 gold per minute. Not often we get a Lowstone that's actually, I don't want to say prioritizing him to get farm, but the fact that he is having a great start because of uh, you know just where he's at. How the game has progressed here, and we'll see how that maybe has an impact. Pestilence with the top lane. Gonna use that flight. Nice done from Aluna. Oh, Brodex. I feel like he could have been pilled a lot sooner there, but they really wanted Mage Bane almost to look like. But uh, he chose not to, but maybe for the better because you do see four yeah, players now. Here. Exactly. I was about to say, I mean, that might have actually saved him in the end, that Aluna stun. Uh, that stopped him from stunning, but. Uh, you know, Engineer, engineer gonna TP, or rotate top as well, but Turret gonna be able to do a bit of counter push. Um, on top of maybe a torture stun, we'll see if what the reaction is from Team Excellent. They can just you know try to push up bottom a bit and put some pressure there. Um, but I mean, it's not a crazy push from Hellborn at the same time. You have a lot of counter push, and you you have to be careful if you're Hellborn. 
I mean, as you see right now, Luna gets very low. Bubbles even takes a bit of harass and even Mage Bane, but um, yeah, they're already backing out. I mean, that's, that's that was you know two minutes wasted around for Bubbles and Ophelia that had to kind of take the time to run all the way down there. Mm -hmm. It's a top lane, and you know do that. And in the meantime, bottom over here, as you can see, Siloe going to be getting the tower, and you know it might be close. There's no TPs from Hellborn, only on Mage Bane. Um, if they choose to do that, there goes the TP actually from Mage Bane. So yeah. it's gonna save the tower, but I feel like Tilo actually could have made up here um, because Keeper didn't have ultimates. But then again, it's a bit risky. He, he, he probably didn't know who's tipping. He is gonna go right lodestone? here. Yeah, lodestone. <laughs> that was... Couldn't find the ang no, excuse me, the angle really. He actually activated that as he was going to invis, so he is still invis currently. And uh oh, Keeper the force. He's gonna be fast as well. Head smash the curtain. Kegstun comes out on top of the turret. Oh, top. Down he falls top lane. We do see a dive on a mage bane. Mage bane gonna be picked off. Torture and pestilence with that flight ability, especially able to dive on top of mage bane. So wait, that was That's a mage uh, bane. Wow, I'm a sorry. Luna, Luna. That was a Luna, yeah. But still, I mean Derp. that kill is just I mean you can see right now pestilence farm 1k gold, 1.2k, sorry. Um and he's just getting closer and closer to that uh, steam boots or to the portal key, and he's not, you know, he's not leaving the lane while Mage Bane just has steam boots right now, 300 gold saved up. And it's the fact that Brodex is, they're key, he's, you know, he's staying top and he's keeping his composure so he can continue to get farm and uh, Torture and Engineer are pretty much both of the heroes, as well as our Lodestone Horde distracting the rest of the enemy team. And uh, yeah, it's, it's very surprising that Silhouette and Pestilence are doing so well on top of Lodestone too. Man up actually from Pestilence oh. is going to fall here. Mage Bane, yes, the Captain Champion coming in, Pestilence okay. will fall. I don't think Mage Bane, Mage Bane underestimated the amount of damage that Manifoy was going to do, so I was worried for a little bit a little bit right there, but in the end, Ophelia obviously assisting is why he manned up, so good uh, good coordination right there, actually, between uh, him and Ophelia. Obviously, the Ophelia's touch was used on top of that, and they do get the kill on a Pestilence, sure enough, so. Despite all that, was, though, sorry? Sorry, I have to do uh, He was uh, missing, I, I don't know if it was, I, I wasn't watching Pestilence's mana, but if you saw him mana batteried, and it looked like he was almost in the animation of stunning, and then uh, Mage Bane took his mana. So it could have actually been a bit worse if Moonmander, because of patience of Moonmander with the ultimate. I mean, he waited till the end. But um, regardless, I mean, that, that that mana steal really helped him in the end. Uh, and nice patience by Brodex. I mean, he, he did try very well, but in the end, it just wasn't to be. And he's going to go back top. Just needs another 1k gold saved up, uh, and another 1k to go for his yeah. PK. Speaking of pickups, yeah, Lightbrand. That brand coming out for Nox here, so... You know, Silhouette, I know we don't really see her a whole lot nowadays, but the couple times we have, and I want to say maybe it is even Nox the one that's played it, it seems like that... Usually it seems like it's the Energizer into Searing Light, but in this case, it might just be going straight for the Searing Light build. Uh, in the end, and... It seems like that's, that in general is also becoming a an item that's picking up steam somewhat on the competitive scene in, in some cases. I know Dark Lady, maybe the, the build on her is also what could be possible, but or we've seen before. But uh, but yeah, picks up here by Nox. Nox, you know, he, he makes it happen every game with that, uh, with that item. And, yeah, he loves it. Ooh, top lane, actually. Mage going to be blinking in. Yeah. <laughs> Best lens realizing Wait, quickly. Need to get out of there. Lowstone with haste too. Oh, they're gonna catch this keeper. They know he's in the trees there. Did they clear the tree? Oh my god, he still has a root comes out. The shadow storm misses right there as a result. If they had any kind of dust there. You do see engineer he has dust, but he just wasn't able to get there in time. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Cause yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, to be honest, it wasn't that bad even because keeper used ultimate, so you shouldn't be True. too sad about that. And you know, a hundred seconds now with that keeper ultimate. Yeah, you use lodestone, you miss your ulti, but whatever. Um, so in, in some cases, uh, you know, Keeper using his ultimate is better than Keeper dying. Yeah. But there goes the turret, gonna be used top as well, so a bit of a push. Ooh. 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 touch, gonna keep them up. Mage Bane taking some damage, but obviously again, with the touch, gonna be fine. And yeah, oh, Lozo doesn't have Shatterstorm though. If he had a Shatterstorm, this could've been huge. Now it still might be huge, Energy Field gonna go down, Ophelia being locked down, is gonna end up falling. You see Aluna and Bubbles in the meantime trying to run away. Aluna might be chased down here when it's all said and done. Yes, she is. The auto attacks from Silhouette a little too much. Bubbles going to make his getaway being played by Slicks. And you do see, actually, a Mage Bane Porch at the bottom. Or will he? Good question. No, he is going to be fine. Nice take over there. And yes, he will get away. Tower's going to fall, though, on top of everything else. Yep, I mean, I mean the they know that the key problem is Force Ultimate going to be down, so they might try to force another tower. Now, if you notice right now, Bassett is going to pick up his portal key from the outpost. 
So they might have been trying to take a surprise fight, has that ultimate up in 15 seconds. Oh, he's gonna be gone actually best of days. Um, but they could definitely take a surprise fight. Pestilence is PK as well, so yep. perfect timing to be honest for uh, Legion. Gonna see if they can set up a sneaky sneaky gank. Yeah. And uh, even Silhouette 2k saved up already. 9 to 3, I mean, <laughs> I honestly didn't even notice Team Excellence lead. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of farm, only in hero kills. But I mean, you, you can see now everything's kind of coming together, and now it's just going to go down to how well they play. If they can, if they can just, um, you know, keep up the pressure and stop the farming at this point and just push, force fights, it's going to go very well for them. Yeah, uh, I, I agree with you. I mean, it, it notice a slight lead, but especially after that last fight, obviously the lead has jumped up quite a bit. Five thousand on top of forty-one hundred experience. Searing light just finished by silhouette, by the way. There you go. Uh, gonna be put together right there. So her damage slash uh, damage output slash farming potential really starting to skyrocket. More so on the farming side. I mean, damage potential really not the the scariest by any means just yet. But at the same time, still uh, provide quite a bit. It's gonna damage. They jump a Luna in the middle lane. Double damage pestilence doing work right there. It seemed like engineer also assisting, of course, being played by Fine. But there's that portal key coming into play. The Hellborn oh, takes down a Legion about. Tower. That's unfortunate oh. for the Legion side. Shams. <laughs> With the Vagabond later. Yeah. Actually goes up and hits the tower, so yeah. Nice uh, presence of mind from him making you know noticing the tower is low. But um uh, you know, the tower, mid tower's gonna fall. The Another nice thing about having Pestle to maintain is that you know, that that whole buff that Keeper is giving for the armor is just gonna get gamped completely. Ooh, top lane actually. Okay. Uh Bast is using oh. his ulti onto Ophelia. Oh wow. <laughs> Do too much actually. I'm gonna get it down, but you know, not enough and Pressure is being applied. We'll see if they continue to push or not. But I mean, the nice split push right now from Hellborn is you know, going to be doing a lot of work. Yeah, they're going back. Yeah, this armor, this this minus armor though, and, and you you pointed it out, and I love seeing it too. The fact that you, you pick up a pestilence, you get that really strong physical presence to go with him. Obviously, silhouette really fits that role nicely. Um, yeah, that that's going to be a big threat coming out. Now, bottom lane, who was that? Was that uh, keeper? keeper? Yeah, he was able to pour it out in time. Super close. That was very close. Must have been. <laughs> Almost jumped him, but he is going to be fine. But Pestles also, with all that said, he's also close to level 11. And that means going to be going from minus 6 to minus 12 armor whenever he applies that swarm. So, let me see right yeah, exactly, there. Exactly, I mean. Uh, especially against, you know, Mage Bane, who generally isn't a hero who ever builds armor and doesn't have that much armor. Yeah. Um, right now, you can see <laughs> against Pestilence buff 2 armor. I mean, that's yeah, nothing. Um, but, you know. And, you know, you have. The, the thing is, it's like it's not even that you're going up against a pestilence who doesn't deal that much damage, and it's like, okay, you know, he's he's uh, making them have not much armor, but you know, you have a silhouette who's dealing a lot of physical damage, and she will continue to do that while she farms. So that's that's it's like it's almost as if like the pestilence is going to be supporting the silhouette um, and helping him out do even more damage than he would initially. Mage Bang going the uh, going the rune cleaver and out out of the. Uh ballpark by any means. I mean, definitely a go-to build, but I kind of wonder, I mean, what, what do you think? Uh, you, you talk about, you know, the lack of armor. Now, Geometer Spain, uh, with a great item in general on Mage Bane, and definitely good for dispelling that Swarm debuff, as well as the armor that you do get from it being the agility-focused. Could you argue that maybe Firebrand into Geometer Spain could have been a better priority here instead of a Rune Cleaver? Um, do you think that still is just very Ooh. Oh, oh, bottom oh, lane. Yeah, go. nice split up right there by Silhouette. He's gonna survive. He will live. Now the tower did fall in Keeper's favor, and actually he's still hanging around. Silhouette needs to be really careful right here. Bubble's coming in as well, and she's going to pour back. That was close. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was actually an Aluna snipe, but yeah, kind of very, very low. Um, Bubble's going to run into the illusion here, but Nox actually might swap back in. Oh, that's going to be, it's actually going to find Bubbles. Gonna oh, wow. Ooh, very, very close to done. He's going to be fine. Okay. Um, but anyway, back to the Mage Bane talk. Um, I mean... I think if they can pull this off with Mage Bane farming for a long time, then it will definitely be in their favor because he will, you know, he'll just take off eventually as a carry. But uh, the the whole Firebrand Geometers build is if if he gets that item and he, you know, they screw up one team fight, the game's over. Yeah. Um, so in this sense, I feel like it's a bit more safe coming up from uh, Team Ishar, but they're also gonna have to play a super passive game now and just let Mage Bane farm, and you know, they're gonna have to be fighting four and five for a while. Um, but you know, I, I like this because it's it's just you know if they screw up a fight um, with the rune dax or you know he'll still have a lot of gold to back himself up if he can get it. So it's just more of a safe build in my opinion. 
What is Knox gonna do? Is he gonna go portal key or Dombringer? He's going portal key, okay. We got the gold for both right there, but yeah, he is gonna Ooh. go the portal key to Keeper. pull up. We do see at the top or the bottom lane, yeah, Keeper the Forest gonna be jumping right here. Swarm supplies, obviously Nix is found not doing too much in terms of invis, but the armor's nice! Not gonna matter. He still falls right there. Um, and uh, now we're gonna see this bottom push continue, it looks like. So the portal keys definitely co continuing to come into play here. Obviously from Team Excellent, and not only that, but the minus armor, of course. That armor, what it provides at this point, is 10 armor right now. Yeah, 10 armor from Keeper of the Forest, but you got minus 12 from Pestilence, so basically nullifies it in more. If you think about it that way, Torch in the middle, the middle lane might actually fall right here. He is going to fall. Massport's coming in, and they got the tower kill. Bubbles, he needs to make the escape of the century right here. Can Slicks actually get away? There's the tree's going down. He does not have much more mana. He is going to end up falling right here. And now they're going to deny the tower on top of it. Well, he before he died. Did he? Okay. Um, hopefully, hopefully, yeah. I hope it's a portal key. Um, so yeah, at least that, I mean, <laughs> they're just looking for any pickup they can get at this point. Um, and sadly, no, it was on Pew. But you know, it wasn't the best pickup that they could get just because it was a support hero. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's, you know, at least he gets something out of nothing that they really had going for them. Um, but, you know, then again, you can see that there's a lot of gold saved up onto Keeper, onto Ophelia. And that's what, um, that's what Hellborn's going to dominate in late game team fights. Um, regard, I mean, it's difficult to, you know, I, it's hard to make a, even a bold statement about that just because of how much late game Legion has with Silhouette yeah. and Pestilence. Yeah. But, uh, you know, Keeper is known, you know, to be a hero who can lock down for a long time and so can Bubbles. And I, I still feel like Team is going to win this. It's just, a weather, it's just a matter of, you know, whether they can stay in this game long enough for Mage Bane to just carry everything. Yeah, I yeah. will say, in, in a sense, um, oh, Mage Bane? Gonna run into Torture. Is he gonna put it? Yes, the Porta Q right there. Mage Man does it up like for three more seconds. Can he get a follow up? Gore Proc, Gore Proc, Gore Proc. Nope, not gonna happen. Although Engineer coming in, no, not gonna happen either. He's gonna be ported back even. All right, anyways. Um, Silhouette, not not a hard counter by any means to Keeper of the Forest Root, but definitely a, a, we even saw already this game, a decent counter in the sense with her ultimate, she can yep. save that to use against the Root. And so, especially when she gets, she gets up to like a Geometer's Bane. Um, you know, that's even uh, just an extra addition, so even with the Restoration Stone, it's not as big of a deal for her, so... Something to keep in mind, too. And definitely. I mean, even against um, Pestilence, if you think of it, I mean, he's one of the tiers, like Warbeast, who he has the flight, and that's what makes him so strong in teamfights. I mean, if you can hold him down for just 3-4 seconds, you're wasting a lot of his time and his ability to move in teamfights, so... It's not that bad of a counter against Pestilence, either, and uh, of course, the Bubbles ultimate as well. I mean... The thing, the thing is that Pestilence is around 1.3k away from his uh, uh, shrunken head, so oh, geez. that might not, not, not have a huge effect <laughs> if it takes too long to fight, which it probably will. But yeah. you know, it's still something to keep TMSR motivated to go in to the fights, <laughs> knowing that they have a keep of the forest. Or yeah, keep of the forest. Oh, so oh. I like what they did right here. Oh no, the slow is low. Okay, she splits up. Oh, he goes for the wrong one. He went for the wrong one. <laughs> After all, it's still my man matter in the end. He's going for the combo. Engineer comes in though. They take over all the energy field and the turn. He is going to get the combo, but Silhouette does fall. Oh man. That almost did not work for Slicks. <laughs> that would have been frustrating, but Fitzke actually. Okay, Fitzke sniped him. That's what happened. I didn't yeah. even realize that. Okay. So that's how he ended up dying. At least he died, but damn. That was a hell of an opportunity there for Silhouette to make a big, big turnaround before without dying, so. Yeah. I mean, definitely worth it as well for Bubbles there. Uh, did not get the XP, sadly, but, uh, you know, they get the kill onto the Silhouette at least, and something we don't see on Nox off, it's a Shield Breaker. Yeah. Um, so, you know, not going to be going for a Dawn Breaker, which is huh. new. And I, I, the, the reason I think he got Shield Breaker is just for the core reason of you have Pestilence debuff level 16, 18 armor. Mm -hmm. On top of a silhouette who will, um, you know, minus another 6 armor with her level 3 shield bigger, that's negative 24 armor. Uh, or minus 24 armor. And, you know, if, if somebody is not keeper buffed in a team fight, that person is going to drop like there's no tomorrow with all those debuffs on top of them. Yeah. You know, that's, that's the point of their lineup, is to just go in there and just deal massive damage with their carries. Which is what they're going to do, and actually top lane over here, we might even see a pick off on some Mage Bane, mm -hmm. gonna be running around, but yeah, it's playing a bit passive though. Yeah, I definitely, I, that kind of just goes back to the point of, uh, you know, with the, with the Root from Keeper, you could argue, he needs Geometer's Bane, he needs, uh, he needs Shrunken Head, but 
Uh, the fact that he, just, as long as he just saves that ultimate for that case, not the and with, with them being range as well, you know, that also means it's not a, as big of a deal, but, um, yeah, the top lane, Mage Bane needed to be a little careful right there, as far as, uh, almost, almost getting in, getting cut out by Pestilence, but he is going to be fine in the end. Um, what does Mage Bane have, by the way? He does have Firebrand, so I would assume just going to be going straight for that Geometer's Bane here. And yeah, I mean, definitely makes sense. A so shotgun head, although still always nice. <laughs> well, that physical threat, you need something to deal with that physical damage more so. I mean, the nice thing about Legion, at least, is that they all have very small mana pools. Uh, if he could jump somebody and jam at his brain, he can, you know, take a lodestone out of a fight before he gets an ultimate. I mean, the same thing with Pestilence. He can just make sure the Pestilence doesn't have any mana for the rest of the oh. fight, and he can't. It's up. Okay, no bottom. Force and a lot of tr Never mind, he got ported out. Okay, that's why it kind of turned off him. They're going to try to chase Ophelia, though, and I don't think Shams is going to be the same story. He is probably going to be pit. Wow. <laughs> he went from like 80% to zero. That was. That happened. Had smash that's Shieldbreaker. Work. Yeah, Shieldbreaker had smash combo. Oh, we do see a jump on in the meantime. The torture. Nice chain reaction. Spikes the times. Here comes the Impel Stun. They will get that kill on a torture. A fumble's going to go down. Silhouette jumps in. Mage Bane trying to go battle for battle right there. He ports away. Keg's not going to miss. Nice attempt from Engineer with his own portal key. He kind of gets stuck there in the meantime. And I think Mage Bane, yeah, is going to be fine in the end. But getting a couple more pickoffs happening in favor of, uh, of Team Excellent. And that Shield Breaker is going to be level 3 now. And guess what? The Shrunken Head is just around the corner now, too. Exactly. I mean, the bright side for Team Shadow though is that Silhouette is very easily killed if they go for her. Um, she doesn't have any type of defensive item, uh, besides her ultimate, obviously, which is you know, a good tool, though. A lot of them actually the going to come takes down a Hellborn uh, Tower. So, so he's going to get triple stun and he's actually going to die. Hellborn so takes down a Legion Tower. Oh, no. <laughs> I told you! Well played. Five, six seconds stun by Shams. With yeah. Two Ooh. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh, he juked! <sighs> He, uh, he nice went for the game. swarm for it, and eh, that was more of a poor <laughs> choice by Pestilence. He's hoping for the gore, probably not going to happen. Um, if he, he actually swarmed in first instead of impaling. If he just impaled right away, it would have been all the difference. So I don't think it would have been a kill in the end, honestly, either way. But nonetheless, Mage Bane gets away, and again, trying to get that Geometer's Bane, but. I mean, his farm, it's no doubt it's jumped up, but it, this isn't really a scary Mage Bane farm game. I mean, he's 412 gold per minute, respectable. But again, even compared to Silhouette, 560. And look at that, yeah, I think it's the same thing. Uh, Bass is a sheep stick. Already finished uh, finished on him. Again, he had he had some good farm earlier on, so a little bit different than a lot of games with Lodestones. Um, and he's making it work. Already has a sheep stick, pre-30 minutes. And with the with the portal key steam boot, that's big. Ooh, oh no, top. top lane. Enough damage, enough damage, the final auto attack goes off. Engineer's chasing, can he get a range for kicks on the turret? Not gonna hit him, actually. No charge is gonna be coming out. Dust was used. It did hit him, but he is gonna be oh. fine, or is he? Pestilence, Pestilence wants him, man. He wants him, he's diving. Not gonna chase, though. Nice Ophelia heal coming in as well, last second. Um, keep him alive for a bit longer. <laughs> Plus it's going to be bought now by Mage Bane, so um, just another 400 gold Yeah. for um, that Geometer's Bane. And, uh, you know, we'll see if that really has an effect, which I do not really feel like it will, just because of the fact that he has a sheep stick now onto Lodestone, and that's completely nullifying one person from the team fight. Most likely going to be Mage Bane, or maybe even, you know, somebody else. Um, Speaking of keep it the or speaking of you know farm on Hellborn, you do have keep it the force with actually 3.4k saved up. So another 2,000 gold. I mean, and he'll have his restoration stone if that's what he chooses to go. Um, but you know they have to buy a lot of time, which is, I mean they've gotten to this point in the game, but they have to you know keep farming, farming as fast as they can. Congo are gonna drop. They're just they're not even gonna attempt it. Even if they knew that was going on, I don't know if they do. But they're not gonna attempt to leave it. Leave it. So the level is gonna take it though. But um. Um, they're just trying to slow down the Legion. As you see, Moonmander actually backdooring the creeps, or, you know, going behind the wave. Tower going to be backdoored more likely over here. Mm -hmm. Is it? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just going to go for the group wave instead. Doesn't want to rest sitting at the tower, pounding into it, so. Close on with Sheepstick coming behind him. Yep. Oh, can he close enough? The rocket early. There's a Sheepstick. Okay, does he have enough time? The Pestle's coming. The Pestle's so. coming in. Oh, the Impel Sun hits. The Shatterstorm. Boom! Goes to Dynamite. It's not going to be enough, though, but he is slowed. Pestle's is chasing. Gore Proc is all he needs. Gore Proc is all he needs. One Gore Proc. No, the Impel! Oh, the Impel. It just came off. Cool it out. And instead of just timing it a little better. Okay, so it might not matter. Gore Proc, damn it. No! 
Oh, the RNG. The Han God's not in Brodex 5 levels' favor right there. <laughs> oh. Mage Man, I'm sure, well, Mander, a little lucky. Yeah. And actually, they might try to go for a turnaround over here. Maybe Ophelia running in. Load's not going to be a bit low. Snipe actually going to miss over here. Bubble's going to be yeah, Portal King, ultimate off. And Load's not going to be picked off, most likely. In the meantime, <laughs> there's two fights going off right yeah, now. Yeah, okay, I'm watching yeah. the other one. Lodestone, Rocket Drill, Power Throw Connects, getting actually get away. Pestles is going to be fine, it looks like. Yeah, yeah he's going to be finished. Oof, after all of that. At least, you know, Bastards dies. I mean, that was actually really, really nice for Hellborn. Yeah. Because not only did that happen, but look at Kez's gold now, 4,000, and he's pushing bottom. Um, and again, I'm forcing a Legion to push back a bit. Yeah, uh, just for a bit longer. There goes actually a lot of people coming in, it's gonna be okay. Ooh. Oh no, he spotted! Chain reactions hit, Dust comes <sighs> out, Keeper the Force in a lot of trouble right here! Kez did not put into the best of spots right Is there. Well played by Pure. Really it? It's uh, it pretty much hit him, not directly on, but it hit him close enough. And actually stunned the homecoming stone, so big pick. Definitely, um, of course he has a buyback, but yeah. we'll see if it's even going to be used over here. Moon Man is probably going to TP back. Oh, no, it does not have a TP right now. Nox putting away the pressure on the base, but not really enough. Uh, Lucian's about to die, so he's going to make sure that he gets that off before it is too late. And uh, his team is actually rotating towards the mid. I mean, Legion isn't really too scared about taking this um, late game. But then again, they know that they're you know at a pretty big advantage in terms of damage output, and you know they have token as well for another four minutes, so they yeah. might even start slow pushing. But you know, Moon doing a smart thing, perfect uh, play by him, you know, kind of in position to just do exactly. Ooh, actually, oh, he blinks right in right there. Yeah, pass the little stun. <laughs> the Shatterstorm hits the illusions, not the real one. He is going to homecoming stone away. I believe he's going to be fine. Yep. Again, hoping for the gore proc, but. I haven't seen one in like two years. I have not seen one in a while, yeah. <laughs> I kind of feel bad for Prodex, man. It's still it's 25%, right? Yeah, 25%. Yeah. And I'm, I've seen maybe like 15 hits so far, nothing has happened. By the way, speaking of Kezu, uh, or not speaking of Kezu, but now speaking of Kezu, goes for an Abyss Skull and Soul of Blue Rock, so I'm not even oh, going to go wow. for the Restoration Stone. Yeah. I'm going to go for more assist items. Nice yes. ultimate. Yep, Engineer going to be picked off. Silhouette in some trouble. Doesn't have the ult. He has a shrunken head, though. Okay, that's why. He has a token of life. So he's going to come back up. Now he's going to shrunken right away. No, he gets Silas. There's the shrunken head going off right there. Mage Bay taking a lot of damage. Storm Spirit in the air. Silhouette, though, she is in a lot of trouble. She is squishy. As we were talking about earlier, she looks like she's going to be fine, though. Pestles now in the midst of it all. He throws out the MPL, looking to run away. The Legion team just in retreat mode. Or are they? Bubbles gets picked off in the background. Lost the one Mage Bay jumps back in, but Silhouette ports out with the illusion. And she is going to be fine. And meanwhile, his teammates now getting picked up on the Hellborn side. Aluna's in trouble. Ophelia's already dead. Aluna, one more on attack. There she goes. Down no falls Aluna. Uh -oh. And that worked out a lot better for Team Excellent. Yeah, but nice initially by TMSR. And that was actually almost about to be a huge pick on the silhouette. That would have turned the fight completely because Moon Man might have even manned up a bit more yep. um, to go for that Pestilence. But, uh, you know, they're keeping Moon alive in team fights, And that's the important thing for TMSR. Uh, regardless of how... Excellent's gonna put uh, some pressure on the base, and I, I doubt they're gonna get, you know, any barracks over here. But um, you know, it's at least like the fact that Moon Man is staying alive in fights is the only hope that they have left in this game, and they're actually gonna PK or uh, blink onto this. Uh, Lowe's so not anything gonna happen, but I mean, you see another 2.4k hit up, so he's slowly gonna get beefy now. Um, you know, last fight he, he did a bit of damage actually, but. Um, it was obviously the Keeper of the Forest ultimate on top of the Bubbles, who also helped a lot. And Perfect Storm Spirit, they actually have two sp Storm Spirits now in Hellborn. Yeah. Which is, you know, going to be very useful because Legion has a lot of lockdown, and that's going to help against that. Yeah, I want to go back to... Oh, actually, hold that thought. Aluna in trouble here. There's that one Storm Spirit. Boom! Goes to Dynamite, though. It doesn't yeah. matter. Aluna will fall. She falls down after... Uh, or before the Shatterstorm obviously goes off anyway, so still gets taken out. Aluna's dead for 30 seconds. I ain't buying back, but... You got a level 16 pestilence now, so we're looking at minus 18 armor that he is applying. You got Mage Bane, he's sitting on 18 armor himself, so it basically nullifies all of his armor at this point. Now, you do factor in a Nature's Veil if that's applied, so you have plus 10 for that. But then the Shield Breaker, again, there's just so much minus armor at work right here that um, it, it's it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. This is, the, uh, this is the big story. But I also wanted to bring up, you, you talked about kind of about Keeper of the Force and his item choices. He was pulling up all that gold, and then he ended up splitting it up into a Soul's Borg Abyssal Skull. And I feel like it's unfortunate, because, you know, if he had at least the Soul's Borg a little bit earlier on, maybe that would enhance his farm a little bit more, and it just... You know, I, oh, I, base I, I agree, but... Are we? Okay, yeah, Keeper of the Force is pushing bottom with Mage Bane. 
Middle lane being pushed in. I don't know why you're even remotely getting close there for bubbles. <laughs> you have no chance. It's a massacre. He threw he up the just... field, but... He should have. Oh, man. He should have shot a hash for him. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, Mage Bane? Might get the barracks. Oh, Mage Bane's still holding his ground. Legion barracks hey, gets destroyed. Nice blink. Yeah, wow. That was actually really good. Okay. Wow. I mean, <laughs> that worked out a lot better for TMSR. <laughs> I, I think just, th they didn't realize that was the real Mageman, I think. I thought I think they thought that was an illusion left behind. And they kind of like walked past him. I I think it was also uh, Silhouette did not have a TP, so he was... Or I don't know if he did. I, I think he, his illusion was back running to base. I mean, they just didn't have the, the thing, uh, the TPs to just defend that, and they didn't go all in on there too. There was just a maybe a bit of a bad call coming out from Team Excellent, and they didn't get anything from that, really, and they lost the ranks. So uh, very nice for uh, TMSR 5k gold on Mageman right now. Yeah. Um, and they're going to be going for, uh, you know, maybe a push soon on Legion. You see three people stacked up over here. The so, Kez is constantly a, uh, pushing bottom as well. Well, what do you buy? Uh, you, do you go Behemoth Star or something like a Wing Bow, you think, on Mage Bane in this case? Ooh, that's a hard like, question. Because, I, I, yeah, it's Behemoth Star, yeah, I, it's, but Wing Bow does probably good armor, just stats in general. I mean, and the evasion aspect's always nice. Something tells me that Moon's going to go some defensive item, um, like a Null Stone or a Shunken. Okay, nope, you were right. The only reason I said that is because they have a sheep stick, so maybe he really feared that. Okay. But I think he realizes that they need damage. Um, and yep. I, I like Wingbow, regardless of, you know, even if he got hard, I would like that it was all, but they have a sheep stick, actually. Oh, can they burst him? Can him? they burst him? No, the Storm Spirit comes out. Incuts, give the force for the rear. The Shogunite is going to be blood. Oh. The double Storm Spirit going to be used as well. Moomin is still alive, oh, but he's going to die in the process, and he just got that Wingbow. He is not buying back. That could even be as much as the game because of that. Look at that. Ophelia is going to be chased. Portal key away from Keeper of the Forest. He's going to go straight to the bottom lane. He says, I'm not doing anything up here. I want to make some pressure at their base. But we got Ophelia and Mage Bane dead currently. And now they're going to push middle as a result. Big pick coming out right there. Yeah, definitely. I mean, speaking of the new pick, I didn't even have a time to use it. Yeah. Because of how fast he died. And that's, that's kind of why I mentioned the whole sheep stick thing. Because... You know, I feel like he should have picked guy. Maybe defensive item might have been better to keep him alive a bit longer. Uh, but you know, he does get picked off. Nice play by Team Excellent. The uh, they're gonna be going. They're gonna get, definitely gonna get two racks over here, two melees at least. We'll see how much more they can get. He another 30 seconds on Mage Bane. They might even go for three. Like I said, it's because of that it could be game now. We just see the middle lane. Case is doing what he can, and you know, smartly so that he's just counter pushing all over the place, but. This is going to be a third tower at least, or is it? Bubbles trying to be a little crafty, but uh, he gets away in time. And actually, uh, it will scare them out, so it's not even going to be the third tower in the end, as uh, as we see right there. But uh, obviously, plenty, plenty of damage done. And uh, yeah, like I, I definitely get what you're saying, but it's it's so tough. I mean, the thing with the wing bow, you keep saying defense. It does provide a defensive aspect in it again, with the evasion and against so much threat here with the auto attack. So it. it it does provide that at least, but no matter no matter no matter if he had a no matter what item he had there, I still think he's probably dead. Just, I, I, I feel like it's not you know, it's not Moonman's fault for like a pickup because he he's in a situation where he wants to do a lot of damage, but he needs to stay alive. Yeah. And the only thing that he can really do is get an offensive item and be you know have very good positioning. I mean, you saw two storm two storm swords being used there, but. The fact of the matter is that he, he did dodge the lodestone ultimate. By the time he did dodge it, though, he had half HP. So the second he blinked in, he just got insta killed. And, um, you know, I, may he, maybe he just has to stay back in fights, or it has to be Team Mesar who are the ones that are initiating with that Keeper of the Force ultimate, with that bubbles and silencing, and, you know, being the ones to just bring the aggression in team fights. Because them getting jumped on is just not going to work, especially Mage Bane being initiated on by that Sheepstick initially in that whole skirmish. Yeah. You know, another 1.2k saved up. So, if Moonmander can get one more item, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll be, you know, <laughs> happy with the fact that maybe he can actually win a team fight with um, his build. And Team Star is still playing extremely well as a team. Oh, They're not yeah. really losing the composure. They have, they didn't, you know, they didn't die right there um, on any of the other he heroes besides Mage Bane and Ophelia. And you know, they they kept the racks up. That's that's the important thing in this game. Oh yeah, this uh, th this game is definitely not over. I mean, <laughs> there's still the game Legion left for sure. Gets destroyed. This is gonna determine a lot right here. Congo being attended by the Legion team, but look at what Mage Bane and Keeper are doing again. They're counter pushing 
Look at how fast that drops. You see the energy field going to be used right there by Engineer. It will deter them to fall back before the racks. But down goes the tower. Now, Cogwar stays alive easily. But look at the top lane. So the one's pushing up there with the illusion now. And she ports away, goes back into the Kongar pit. So just a whole lot of mind games going on between the two teams right here. It looks like it's going to play off in the excellent favor, though, in the end. As uh, they're definitely going to Kongar. Look at Torture with the illusion up here, too. Down. Getting plenty of vision. Oh, no. The bubble steal it? No. Oh, he didn't have a slaughter. He would have got it. Nemesis. Wait, did they destroy it? He destroyed it. Yeah, he did. Okay, yeah. He did. <laughs> so Slix does work. At least, yeah. I at mean, least, I think he could have took it there, but yeah. He, it was perfect timing by him, actually, with the shell safe. And, you know, at least that happened. So that's actually very important. Yeah. Um, then again, Silhouette couldn't have really sold anything. So it would have been given to Pestilence um, for that token. I mean, which is still not bad, obviously. Yeah. That's, he's doing a lot of damage, but... Uh, we know now it's it's back to five v five. We have TP boots by the way onto um, NG, so he's going to continue to push up bottom and then oh, TP wow. into the fight, which is very smart because that's is, the yeah. whole mind game that Kezu's playing for the past you know five ten minutes. Well, he's but, beautiful at d doing that by himself too. I mean, the energy field, yeah. the kex on the turret, he's great. So I love that pickup. That's a huge uh, huge pickup there by five exactly. coming out. So as you're explaining. Four buybacks as well on Hellborn, so um, they're ready to fight this, you know, with as many <laughs> buybacks as needed. Because this this means game for them if they lose this. I mean, yeah, they have to they have to give everything they have. Did and Bubbles buy back? No, he actually just resurrected. Oh. Okay. I like the Ice Arger as well, even more armor. <laughs> oh, DD on Major, by the way. Oh wow, and four hundred and seventy damage. Four hundred and seventy damage, Breaky. That's a lot yeah. of damage. Forty armor, four hundred and seventy damage. Yeah, he is bulked up, man. He is ready to go. All right, when are they going to go? The Midas is about to There's the Impale side. They're going to go. Pulse the wall right here in the background. Meanwhile, Mage Page chops it down. Slower taking him down. A lot of damage right here. He's being locked down by the double uh, root or the one root coming out. Yes. Oh, he ports out. Does he actually survive, though? Dies. No, he. D yes, he does. Where Where did he go? Oh, back at base. Okay. They he do take a Luna. Did he oh, die? No, he bought back. Okay, yeah, I'm all over the place now. He's going to post ace in, it looks like, by the way. Yeah, he comes right back in. Stun comes out with the Impale right there. But Silhouette jumped into a horrible Never spot. Died. That was a horrible decision by Nox. To jump back into this fight. He has a portal key. Why is he not using it? Oh, he had a portal key for at least a second right there. They got melee racks, but... They did. No buyback. Uh, they have a buyback on Pestilence, but nothing on Silhouette now. This Okay. Man, um, I don't know. This this is going to be interesting. <laughs> yeah, Fitzke is going to stay top. I feel like Bubble should stay top as well. And maybe try to cancel some ports. Oh, he actually does not have his health. But... Um, you know, if they can maybe prevent low stuff from getting the base, that would have been huge. Um, but he's, he's going to go over here, try to get that range barracks. Yeah, actually, Bubbles is back. Um, going to keep an eye on Bassett's Bass is going to TP out, though. Yep, so it's going to be a f 2 on 5 right now. Actually, 2 on 3 in terms Allegiant of the base. Gets so the there goes sword. Torture, going to be spawning. And Pestilence by back. Can they actually kill Mage without Silhouette? I don't think so. Shatterstrom's going to be a fly. Storm Spirit goes out. That might hurt him, though. He can't blink away. The stun oh. comes out. Oh, oh, he gets ported back, though. Oh. Woof. <laughs> that was close. Oh, wow. That almost screwed him in the in the, in the long run, but yeah, the port pack actually made it work. So this is the type of game that you asked for. Oh yeah. Game three. Game as well. three. This is to stay alive here. I moved to losers bracket finals. <laughs> we're 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 gonna. You feel? I mean, we're gonna have a base race at this rate. That's, that's pretty much what it's gonna come down to. You, it feels like so. Exactly. I, mean, I love these games because even though you're not playing, they still you know get your heart beating. Oh yeah. And racing. And, and, oh, they're going to catch Lodestone over here. Oh, no, Lodestone. He's going to use that rocket drill. He's fairly tanky. He he's does have a Shrunken Head as well, yeah. So he's easily going to get away for now. Okay, yeah, they're not going to chase. Yeah, taking it to use. That's very true. Buyback situation. What do we got? Move Meander. Is he gonna, oh, speaking oh. of Meander, he's going to be locked out. Can he get the kill? The sword comes out. Yes, they can. He gets just absolutely destroyed. He does have a buyback. Double Will he use it immediately? There's another kill on Luna. The Legion team is running. He has not bought back yet. They're going straight for the shrine. He might want to wait for the buyback before they get into the base. You didn't see in the meantime, though. Kazu's going by. Oh, nope, he's mind. turning around. He says, you know what? I cannot do this. we got to defend right here. Again, especially with the buyback. Mage Bane. What did he buy? He bought something like Courier almost. I don't know what he bought, but anyways, he goes right here. Okay, here we go. Bubbles gonna be down. Mageman jumps in. Pestless dropping quickly. Oh, the man of gets a shrine enough just before. He survives as a result. The root comes out. And now we see Lowstone in the meantime trying to take the damage. Where is Silhouette doing all this? He is just putting in the right click auto attacks. Everyone's still alive on the Hellborn team except for Luna, who's still dead. But she is gonna be resurrected. Mageman thinking about blinking back in. Nope, not finding the opportunity right here.
Or it's up in one second even. Not gonna find them. Engineer gets away. Meanwhile down here. Oh, oh was that a power snipe. throw? Yes, it was. Oh, power throw snipe to take out Pestilence. And he does not have a buyback. Yes, he does. He does have a buyback at least. Oh, but if you, Bassett's actually sold a lot of. I don't know what he sold, but he had marchers when he spawned. I don't. I feel like he sold something. Maybe yeah. not. I, I guess he just sold his boots for TP boots. Um, but his, his inventory uh, looks very empty right now. It does. But regardless, I mean, Pestilence has a buyback. This will be a 5 on 5 in a second. Keeper has a Storm Spirit. Okay, so three Storm Spirits now yep. on Hellborn. They just want to keep Mage Ben alive. I love, look at this top lane, by the way. Look at the mines. There, there's a huge mine trap at the top lane by Engineer. <laughs> the, the creep wave's not even close to it, so if they try to backdoor that, that could actually screw them pretty hard. I would love to see that. He's doing more, yeah. That, that, that could actually yeah, that could be mines huge. Here. That's nine times, uh, what, it's 300 damage each, right? Yeah, yeah, 300 magic damage at this rate. Wow. 2,700 magic damage right there. That's, <laughs> that's a lot of damage. That is. Um, Congor situation, let me see if I can scroll up and see when it died. Congor was killed at, so it's going to be up in four minutes. Um, yep. That could be pretty huge as well, on Mage Bane especially. Um, if he can get that item, because obviously he does not have a buyback. But I don't know if this game's gonna last that long. As you see, Legion over here. Oh, Belia, easy kill. She has buyback. Where's her? Was her minions though? The bigger question, even. Keep her bottom though. Ooh. Yep. Look at those massive oh, creeps. But they're going right for the racks. They want to try to get mega creeps here, even. Rain tracks up top. Silhouette gonna be locked up by the Cal field. Mage Bane thinking about coming in. There's a trigger to use. There we go. Mage Bane jumps in. in the meantime, on Engineer. Engineer gonna be absolutely bursted down. We see Low Stone. Shatterstorm's gonna be activated. Here comes the Impel Sun now. Locked into the Mage Bane. Look at the damage. He gets Storm Spirit. Can he survive? Yes, he can. The blink away at the last second. The Storm Spirit has been the MVP item of this game. 100%. Slicks oh. in the meantime, not gonna be the same story. He oh, falls. He is not warrior. buying back. He is out of buybacks. Alunar goes down. She is not buying time. back. The Rain tracks in trouble. Mage Bane jumps in. Moomy and are going balls to the wall right here with that shrunk and head. Keeper of the Force is nearby, but cannot do much. He does not have the root. The Rain tracks is going to fall. It is just Keeper and Mage Bane right now. Uh, th this, uh, I think it might be it right here. Team Excellent pushing. I think this is. Yeah, he, can't, he can't even buy a post haste. Maybe try to backdoor the enemy base. Kezu cannot. Kezu could actually. They're not, they're not even thinking about that right now. They wanted the Mega Creeps. Oh, wow. Oh. Keeper. <laughs> Keeper's going for Silhouette. He's not He's much delay. of a right click threat though. Yeah, delay if anything, KZ is gonna die. He does, he does not, no, not enough gold. Mage Bane locked down, Sheepstick. That should be it. If Moomiander falls right here, 100%. Yep, he goes down, that should be it. Mega Creep's gonna spawn. That's a genocide, And a genocide coming out right here. Oh, the man. Barracks the gets Hellborn destroyed. takes down a Legion Team Tower. Excellence. What a fight. What a not fight. Good. They're not, they're not conceding. They're it's not, out. yeah. It's yeah. not 100% over, but... The Legion takes down a Hellborn Tower! Man, what are you gonna do here? <laughs> okay, oh. so West dead. That's a start. She bites back, though. Guess what? Not not gonna happen. Bubble's gonna fall right here. Ophelia's like, fight me! Fight me! Distract! Anything! Mage Bane! Double Resurrect! Nemesis. Yep. You look at the Legion face, they didn't get the tower killed out here, tower. but uh, there you go, GG well played. What a game, man. As you said, series and game. It will go to Team Excellent, though, and they are going to be moving on to the Losers Bracket Finals, where they'll play Team USA tomorrow to see who then plays State Green in the Grand Finals. Fourth place finish for Team SR, you know, not bad, but at the same time, too much sugar. Hyped up team going into cycle number one for obvious reasons. Finishing fourth place. In the end, so. Yep. On top of that, Shams is last competitive game, you know, for a while at least. Yeah, that's true. Didn't announce that. At least it did end, you know, with a lot of hype last yeah. game. <laughs> very, very happy game. So, you know, he he must be happy <laughs> with the way that uh, you know, that game went. Just even if you at lost, least, I mean, yeah. in in a game like that, you have a lot of fun playing. Yeah, a lot of fun watching, a lot of fun playing. What a game. I, I, I will say a little bit of bittersweet. I, I was looking forward to that mind trap coming into play right there. <laughs> that would have been amazing. It's something like Mage Man trying to back door and all of a sudden he explodes. But um, but uh, obviously, uh, hell, of, hell of a game, hell of a series, and Team Excellent. They do come out victorious two games to one in the end. So, whew, not much else to say about that game, really. Panny, you have any final words for yourself? I appreciate you joining me, man. Uh, no, I mean, extremely well played. Both teams. You know, throughout the series, you know, game one, pretty one-sided. Game two, 
towards the end, one sided. You know, game three, very very even. That's kind of the, the series you always want to watch. Um, games like those, especially game three, just really hype. And you know, <laughs> thanks to the teams just for that game. I mean, it's. it's